Okay, Hugh, the evolutionary theory says that we evolved from apes, and yet modern genetic research is showing that can't be. Why? Well, we're able to use mitochondrial DNA and Y chromosome to trace back a few tens of thousands of years, and the species of bipedal primates previous to us, the Neanderthals, has DNA that's so radically different from human DNA that geneticists have concluded there's no possibility that Neanderthals could have contributed anything to the human gene pool. So they are a separate species. They're not part of the descent that led to human, species, human beings. Okay. I had a professor one time who said that you creationists believe that God created the world in 4004 B.C. I said, it's not in the Bible. He says, oh, yes, it is. Get it out. So I gave him my Bible. He was looking all over for it. He didn't realize that was Archbishop uh, Usher's date that he had put together a long time ago. And it was a good guess, but it wasn't accurate. Now, why is it that we don't believe that uh, God said man was created 4004 B.C.? Well, that would presume that there are no gaps in the genealogies. And if you look at the New Testament genealogies back to Adam, you see that it has a name in it that's not present in the Genesis 11 genealogy. So there are gaps in the genealogy. The question is how many gaps? And Fuzz gave us a good range of what the dates would be 10 to 100,000 years ago. And then secondarily, we recognize that it's an open question whether the word translated as day in Genesis 1 refers to a 12-hour period, a 24-hour period, or an extended but finite period of time. And there are 20 creation accounts in the Bible, and the only way that we've been able to see to keep those 20 different creation accounts consistent so they don't contradict one another is that these days of creation are long periods of time.